What are you doing, Dad? Sharing the thing. Sharing it, giving it a share. Yeah. Yeah, I should, I should probably I should probably get on get on some sharing as well. Is that something you should do, like live on air? Probably. Actually, this is this is the this is the world that we live in now. You have to actually yeah. be live as well as still trying to share and promote your uh, your content. I've got to promote my content. We are. I think uh, I can see. Uh, let's see. See, it's gonna work. That's what people getting involved. Hello, hello to everyone. Anyone that is watching right now. Hello to Joshua Washbrook, aka Squashy. He's he's uh he's locked inside right now. Um. <laughs> Hi, Darren. Wait, let me. Should I, hey. Am I gonna? I'll give it. I'll give it a share into the group. Wait, just one sec. Let's, uh... mm -mm -mm. <laughs> hello, hello to anyone else that is is uh, is watching right now. Uh, hello to hello to Darren, hello to Darren Potts, hello to Marcus Coca. What are we doing? I'm gonna put that there. Uh, well, <laughs> how you doing, man? You're good. I'm good, mate. You? Yeah, yeah. I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Just uh, <laughs> live, live right now on Facebook, <laughs> as as you do on a on a Thursday night. That awkward little silence before waiting for people to join. Marcus says, "When when will you manage to spell my surname right?" Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I never do. I never need pronounces pronounce, his, uh, pronounce his Marcus's. Is it is it co coca? Is it coca? Is that actually how it is? I always say coca, but it's definitely not Marcus coca. I'm sorry, Marcus, for my uh, my inability to be able to pronounce things in other other languages properly. Uh, hello to anyone that is watching right now. Hello. <laughs> hello, Liam. <laughs> yeah, uh, big up to anyone that is watching. We're just uh, we're just hanging out. We're just hanging out on Facebook as you as you as you do. I seem to be spending too much time live streaming at the moment. I don't know. I'll just someone said to me, "I'm on I'm on Facebook live too much." <laughs> What's been going on anyway? We've been doing. What have you been doing today? You've been working today, haven't you? You're talking to me? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Who else am I talking to? You've been digging everyone up in the comments for 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I've been working today, man. Yeah. In the beautiful humidity. Yeah, it's been, been a bit great. It's been a bit nice, hasn't it? It's been a bit nice on mm. uh, the last few days. I... Uh... Have you been? Have you been out at all? Enjoying the 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 sun at all? Have you been out at all? No. The sun? No. No. <laughs> Not at all. Um, you must have been well, out to it one day. The bank holiday weekend, I enjoyed it. To be fair. Um, Where'd you do? Where'd you go? Well, went to the pub on Sunday. That's it, actually. The pub. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Then. Where better place to spend your Sunday, though? Let's be honest. Yeah, literally. Okay. What's the pub called? Where do, where, where is it, where's it? Where's you go? Um, uh, the Red Lion in Laycock, then Spoons in Melksham. <laughs> <laughs> spoons. I, you get those good. You get those uh, those Sunday drink deals on uh, at Spoons on a Sunday. I bet. How much? Is, how, yeah, much is, what... how much is a pint? How much is a pint in Melksham? How much you pay for a pint? In Melksham, yeah, like yeah. three pound in Mother Spoons. Three pound in Mother Spoons for a pint of what? For a pint of Amstel or something? Um, or just Brew Dog Punk IPA is like three pound fifty. If you're getting like Stella or something, it's like three quid. A pint. Um, a pint. Yeah. Yeah, really. Wow. I think we pay. I think we pay like probably like nearly five pound something in Brighton. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> closer to six in some places. Yeah. 
That's not bad. We have to go. We have to go out drinking in Melksham sometime. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> when are you gonna When are you gonna do a night in Melksham? When are you gonna do a night? Have you done one? Have you done one yet? When, when we do an overview Melksham. <laughs> uh, anyone, if anyone does anyone want to see this does anyone want to see this you'll get five people in the door i expect nah you'd be able to you'd be able to you'd be able to get a bigger pool than that in Melksham, surely you must have you must have a few more friends than five people I've, right five my friends you have five friends in Melksham. <laughs> yeah that's a start um, if five, five friends know five friends who also know five friends you know as a start of a, a good party right over there all right let's crash on <laughs> <laughs> we're just getting, so started. We're just getting started i'm just i'm interested seven started. minutes talking about the price of pints in malcolm half the people watching probably don't even know where malcolm is probably never even heard of malcolm where is malcolm where is malcolm for people that people that don't know where malcolm is where is malcolm um it's in wiltshire which is near bath and okay. near swindon yeah near swindon so like yeah. west west country like west country yeah not too, not too far from uh not too far from bristol how many miles no, to bristol? yeah about i don't know like it's like 40 minutes 40 minutes so okay nice. yeah, not bad that's pr that's a lot closer to bristol than i live i live about five five <laughs> three or four hours away as you know as you know as you know as you've been you've made the trip to brighton a lot of times yeah too many times and I will be on Saturday again. <laughs> that, again. that four hour journey. It never gets it never gets fun. What what would you what do you usually do on your on your train journey? Do you do you just sit there? I just listen to music and look at my phone. Just <laughs> I'm just your normal commuter. You you would walk past me and just I'm the same as everyone else. Won't look at anyone, won't smile at anyone. You know. Be sad typical. There, silently. Yeah. You get your meal deal. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. yeah. It, it'd be great. Um. Yeah. No. I. I've done that. I've done that. Yeah. Yeah. I've done that. I've done that. But I still. I still think Melksham. We should do it because it, because it's not. It's not far from Bristol. So people from Bristol will want to come to Melksham. We'll be able to get a lot of people. Um. <laughs> we get a lot of people up for it. Well, you must have. A, you must have a venue there. I don't know. Do it. We'll do it at the village. The village centre, maybe. Would you, could you do it at Melksham, Melksham, Villa, Mel, Melksham Village Hall, maybe? <laughs> Your Wi-Fi. Oh, Your no, Wi-Fi is it? dropping. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah, or is it mine? It went down. Melksham Village Hall, did you say? Yeah, Melksham Village Hall. Can we do it? The stream's gone down. It hasn't gone down, I don't think. Yeah. I think it's still, I think, I think we're still going. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay. I think so. My internet could be better. Also, my computer could be better as well. Is it, st it is still going? Dan, has Dan shat his pants yet? That's what Casper says. You said that? Casper. <laughs> Casper, Casper said that. Yeah. He borderline, Casper, borderline. Not far. <laughs> just do it in a church that's a good suggestion actually have you got all about have you got like a church have you got like a church hall we could do like a we have loads of um churches in Melsham to be fair loads what's what's the best Melsham. church what's got the big what's got the biggest room I mean you know I go to them very often I've been to all of them many times you're really um upset. <laughs> I don't know which is the best. Well, that's, the, the, that's fittingly the name of your, you know, your religious lad. You got the sinful EP, you know, that's quite religious. <laughs> sinful. Why? Why sinful? Why? 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 Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna. Why sinful? Why sinful? Why the sinful EP? What's that? Um, What's that? Well, to be honest, I found the vocal sample for the track. Um, so you, na you named it after the vocal track sample, pretty much. Well, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and okay. yeah, just it, well, the, the sample fitted the tune really. Like, it's quite evil, and it's um, you know, it it, it just it just worked. 
for me. There's no deep me. It's it's not like Real Blue where I had a real deep meaning behind the name. What, like finding it on the side of a cigarette packet? <laughs> exactly. Marcus says, do I hear a cat purring? What's that low background low noise? I don't think there's a cat around here. Have you got a cat here? I've not got a cat. Uh, Liam also said Melksham Football Club. What about Melksham Football Club? Do you think that would be a good place to do, do it? I've never been to the football club, to be honest. No? No, but it is quite big. Um, All right. Too I big think... for an overview event in Melksham. No, no, <laughs> we'll, just do, we'll, do, um, we'll do the, like, the, clinical, the clinical homecoming gig. We'll play, yeah, we'll play uh, a Melksham Football Club <laughs> or, or, some, or somewhere else. But you don't, do you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. Or fun. just in Bristol. Let's nah, just do it. No, no, because it's your it's your hometown, man. It's all about you know like doing you know where you're from. There's probably there must be a scene there. No, <laughs> not, at all. not at all. You're very slow today, Pete. You usually yeah. um. <laughs> oh, I usually keep the conversation going very yeah, well. I know, I know. I'm just, uh, I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just in a, I'm just in a funny mood today. I don't know. You're in a trance. Yeah, a little. Bit. <laughs> just, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done a, I haven't done a live stream in a little while, and, uh, and then yeah, like I don't know. Just, uh, <laughs> are you looking forward to? Uh, are you looking forward to the weekend? Um. um... That's tomorrow. No, wait. Obviously. Are you down tomorrow? No, you're not down tomorrow. No, I'm down Saturday. Uh... Um, obviously, the EP's out tomorrow. Um, so super excited for that. Then Brighton on Saturday, which will be really, really good. Mm. Um, hopefully, the weather's beautiful. Um, great lineup. EP release. EP release. <laughs> EP release party, sorry. Yeah, we should have. Uh, yeah. we, should, we should have probably. We could have branded it a bit more as it. It kind of, it kind of happened. Maybe I make. I could. Maybe we will do an event right now. Should I start one? I'll make a graphic. I'll make a graphic live on air. Okay, go on then. We'll start. We'll start an event right now. We'll do. We'll do the clinical. No, uh, the clinical <laughs> EP launch. He uh, is. He is high as a kite. <laughs> yes, he is. I think. Oh, it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're getting called out of the chat right now. I know, I know. Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I, I am. I am a little bit today. I, I, uh, I met up with. Uh, I met with a friend earlier. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Please. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I just. Uh... Does that mean uh, does that? Does this mean I have to lead the conversation? That means no. you. Ha yeah, that means you have to. I don't know. Someone has to like. Uh, we could we could we could actually make a conversation make it make it more <laughs> and pizza bong on legs pizza bong on legs is that really what i'm getting is that really what i'm getting right now yeah i don't to be honest with you do you, you don't you don't smoke you don't smoke i've called you a fucking crackhead <laughs> he, called, he called me that he's he's called me a <laughs> sinful axe sinful axe maybe we are yeah casper Wait, he should he, he should be he should be cool with it. This is like if this was if this was if this, if this was the Netherlands, it would be absolutely fine right now. Maybe one day, maybe one day it will be. <laughs> oh god! I know, I know, I know, I know. It's all good though. It's all good. <laughs> uh, you don't, you don't, you don't smoke. You don't smoke, do you? You don't want to. Are you, drink, are you, drink, are you drinking tonight? Are you drinking? You want to have a drink? I have a couple of beers, yeah. Yeah. I might, have a, I might have a beer as well. I might, have a, I might have a little drink. Shots? Should we drink some shots as well? We should do some... Is it, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure that's a good idea? Uh, well, <laughs> we, we, we're celebrating. We're celebrating the uh, the release of your EP. We got them. Go on, look. We'll, cele we'll celebrate it. We're going to have... Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack, I'm gonna crack a toast. Cause, uh, cause, uh, oh. 
Because it's a it's a it's a spe- it's a it's a special EP. It's a special EP. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Where, I don't know entirely where I let I let this one I let this one tonight. Uh, I just wanted to just have a chat. Do you know what I mean? Like, so sometimes sometimes these things can be very can be so like formal. You know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Adam says you should do it. You should do a goat shed stream to help promote your EP, guys. <laughs> Fuck you, Adam. <laughs> we should, should we should we talk about that? Should we talk about that? Or do you want to not? Do you want to talk about that? We'll do it. We'll do it. Uh... Um. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I'll explain what. There, there was supposed to be. There was supposed to be. Um, uh, there was supposed to be a clinical stream uh, yesterday. It was supposed to be yesterday, right? Or was it today? Was it actually? Was actually? Yeah. Was actually today? Yeah. Well, that's a question. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, yesterday we were meant to do a stream on Goat Shed with Rider Shafiq, me and Rider Shafiq. Um, but I got the days and the dates modelled up. Um, so I thought it was tonight when really it was meant to be yesterday. Shit. Um, and at about lunchtime yesterday, um, I realized <laughs> and I was at work, so I couldn't make it there. Um, but we've rescheduled it to <laughs> next Tuesday. So yeah, so the, <laughs> there you go, everyone. You can we actually, all make, <laughs> we all make mistakes. We all make we all mistakes, make mistakes but. It's it's still gonna exactly. it's still gonna be great though. It's still gonna be great though. Gotta be sick. Um what, what, Radish what? Feek is like He's a he's a Sorry? good he's a, he's a good MC. He's a good MC. He's really good. He's really, really sick. Um I think it'll be quite an interesting set to be honest. I've not really heard much of him on actual sets. I've heard him on a lot of tracks and stuff, but um I don't know how he is with that, so it would, be, it would be quite interesting. Yeah, 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 mate. I've seen him. I've seen him. Uh, I've seen him play on a few a few sets. He's uh, yeah, it should be good, mate. Um, yeah. What's that? What is that? Next. I, I was. A, to be honest, I'm a bit anxious. Like, I know with most of his music, it's very like deep and minimal stuff. So, I was a bit anxious when it com- came to like playing um, more like liquidy stuff and more. I jump up bass stuff as well, but I'm sure he'd kill anything that I played. To be honest, he's he's really good. So we'll see. But that's Tuesday. I'm buzzing for that. I was gutted about it not going ahead this week. To be honest, I was. I had I've been very excited for it like the whole week, but it's my fault. <laughs> but we go again Tuesday. We go, we go we'll again. Make it work. And th- thanks for Adam for being so accommodating for. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Adam. Adam, I'm sorry, by the way. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> um, George Scott, clinical, do you prefer making minimal or your more liquid style stuff? Um, uh, that's a hard question. Like, I love making both. I find the liquid stuff a lot easier to make in the sense. It's not easier, but it kind of flows out a lot more and is a lot, is a lot more of a quicker process. Um, the minimal stuff, like especially recently, has been quite hard. is is a lot harder to get solid ideas because you know there's you're not being able to test them out in clubs and um, that kind of thing. Um, but overall, I'd probably at the mi- at the minute it's the liquid style stuff, but it changes as time goes on, really, depending on what kind of mood I'm on. When when they announced. Um, when they announced the clubs being open 21st of well, everything opening 21st of July, I had like a real motivation boost with making like heavier, like dance floor orientated tunes and a lot more minimal. Um, cause you know, Pete, before then I was making mainly liquid for a lot through a, a lot of the time through lockdown. Um, I had like a massive wave of making like minimal stuff. Um, but yeah, now it's kind of back to liquid. It, it is like a, wave mm. yeah that's sort of uh getting that first uh hit off that first feeling when they said everything's gonna be coming back <laughs> yeah we got, we got everything that, I pla- we planned so much in such a short amount of time yeah literally it was just um a real buzz about everyone wasn't it when they announced it 
And now Especially we're just... people in our industry, yeah, people are so excited. Yeah, right. And now we're now we're in this like weird like limbo time where <laughs> we're still like, like oh, is this gonna it... happen? Is this gonna is I'm this gonna, gonna be happen? A couple of is this gonna happen? <laughs> like yeah. when <laughs> I'm, to be honest, I'm surprised like they haven't um said they're gonna push it back yet. Mm. I think maybe if they've done it next week, it would be too late without like complete uproar. But I guess it depends. But uh, we spoke about uh, COVID. Get, uh, everyone's talking. <laughs> Let's keep off COVID. <laughs> it, well, no, I mean, way. you know, it's something. It's something that affects uh, affects what we're doing, and uh, mm -hmm. or has or has been. But fingers crossed. Uh, the the Manchester the Manchester gigs actually happening. Oh no! Wait, you're not playing. No wait, you're not. Are you, are you, no, you are playing the Manchester gig. Yeah, second of July. Is it? Are you playing it? <laughs> even I don't even know. Like, is it? it you wasn't... know, you know, you're just too stoned to remember. No, because it, it was, it was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't 100 percent sure if it was going to happen, but it is actually 100 percent going to happen now. As long yeah. as, as long as the lockdown lifts, uh, and we actually, yeah. we're actually allowed out. Yeah. I think that's that's a that's a rebellion that's a rebellion club. So if anyone is in, yeah. if anyone is in Manchester and wants to wants to come along, yeah, we can roll through. People. It's called it's called roll out actually roll out roll out in Manchester. <laughs> yeah. That that will be my first gig back. That's your first gig back as well if it happens. Um no. Oh no. Um, Lex out. Oh yeah right actually yeah yeah, uh, yeah. um I got my candle at that twenty fifth. Friday the twenty fifth flex out. Um Crikey. That is, yeah, that is the first Friday back. Yeah. Um but yeah, it's just in it's just limbo at the minute. It's just kind of waiting to see to see what will happen with it. Yeah. Well, we need something in Bristol guys. You you're not wrong. Yeah, there is supposed to be there is supposed to be uh there is supposed to be something happening in Bristol, to be honest. We are uh we are looking to do something in August, I believe. I think that I think that's that's uh, that's that's hopefully the plan. Um, remains to be seen, one hundred percent, what we'll do. Like like anything at the moment, like we've been trying to do something in Bristol for quite a while, actually. And it just hasn't hasn't. It's, quite. it's amazing that you haven't yet, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm, I, maybe I haven't I haven't pushed it as much as I could have done. But um, I get, with Bristol, you kind of got to wait for the right person to come at you with it, um, because it's such Bristol as amazing as Bristol scene is. Um, with the event, it does get very saturated, so you do want to wait for the right promoter to do it with. Mm. You know, who's gonna, who's well known, and who's gonna get the good venues, and you know, push it. Or just do it yourself. Or just do it yourself, yeah. Yeah, just set up a sound system in the club and just uh Turbo <laughs> Island. Like, like we're gonna system. do like we're gonna do a Melksham. We're just gonna we're just gonna rock up. Yeah, look, Black Swan will still have COVID in twenty twenty two. That's so harsh. That's so harsh. I mean he's not wrong, man. Those toilets. Maybe that's I think toilets, that's that's man. actually secretly where COVID's that's where it started, man. I'm telling you. If it wasn't, or something, black okay. swan, black swan, mutate, black swan, mutate. There'll be, a, there'll be a, everywhere, everywhere will start having their own mutations of the coronavirus. The black, the black swan, swan variant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, black swan's one of my favorite venues. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, but, but uh, really bad jokes aside, <laughs> it's grim. It's grim. Ryan says, uh, "What's happening with two flights? More stuff coming? Have you been Have you been making anything since the uh, since um, the mixtape? No, since I've done the province mixtape, I haven't. Um, it's because I've just been focusing mainly on the clinical stuff and getting the releases sorted for the rest of the year. Um, yeah, my two flight stuff I mainly go back to when I'm kind of like really lacking inspiration with my drum and bass stuff." And when I, you know, when I'm kind of in a rut with it, and it really helps me get out of there, um, it's not necessarily something I want to put like 100% of my energy into. Though, um, it's kind of on the 
back burner a little bit and something it, it, it's I don't know it's weird because I love the stuff I make with it and I find them a lot more experiment experimental with it um uh but it's not the kind of stuff like I'm really really passionate about if you know what I mean it's more just kind of a another creative outlet yeah yeah sorry just like a fun thing to do in a way <laughs> yeah it is it's super it's really fun it's really fun to make that kind of stuff um and it does really help me when I'm stuck and like when I'm lacking inspiration. But um, mm. hope, well, next Squirt. time I'm, I'm in a room. <laughs> no, go ahead. I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> Squishy says put the mixtape on Bandcamp. You gotta put it. You should put it on Bandcamp. Yeah, I, I do need to, to be honest. But you should put a link. Got, can you put, can you put a link for it in the? Uh, can you link? In can the you chat. Link, yeah, look, link in the chat. Just for if anyone, if anyone still hasn't heard uh, Dan's two flight stuff, it's ama it is amazing. I really, <laughs> I really do wish you like we could do a bit more of it. Maybe we do. We should, we should make a film. Squashy, maybe, maybe you know, Squashy was into doing some film as well. Maybe we'll make a, we'll make, a, we'll make a two flights. We'll make that, we'll make that film like we were talking about. Because that's because it's re it, it really does suit that kind of epicness, epicness all round. It was. Uh, it was a really, really great, really great selection of tracks. Yeah, it was. Um, it wrote itself really quick. To be fair, um, pretty much every tune was um, written in like a month. So the whole thing was compiled within a month. Um, so yeah, it was super quick. Um, but yeah, uh, the. My favorite thing about that whole mixtape was kind of like the level of the detail and the and the musical elements. It was all kind of really. Not, it was a completely different workflow to how I approach drum and bass. Like it was when I first got on my first hardware synth and I was kind of playing everything instead of just typing it in, using MIDI notes, and you know it was all played and constructed in like a more like organic way to what DMB is. Well, what my DMB workflow used to be like i've kind of implemented that into it now um yeah it, it, it was just the look it was just a really really weird fun time making that thing like i don't really remember making it too much because it just kind of flew it was like pure like focus and just vibing like in the moment kind of thing as cringe as that sounds but it was um you wrote most of the the course of most of it over what like four months or so what do you think or how long do you reckon that actually was you put into well, I think that? the main structure was probably like a month it was all written oh, really? to be fair <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just so i mean it. it was it, yeah it was it was it was really fun like it, it wasn't um it, it didn't feel like i you know I, there was no deadline or anything like that I'm not saying they're a bad thing but when it came to like writing that piece of music it was um really helpful and limitless in a way it felt like really free um so it, it did feel like it just came out super quick right yeah it must be uh it must be good yeah when that when that happens for you get in that flow state <laughs> just uh, producing the flow state <laughs> yeah basically, basically. It, is, it is it is a surreal experience it, it's it could be quite rare in, in music like drum and bass where it kind of is so structured and you know there's i don't want to say that's like a, a rule book essentially but it is you know you got your 16 bar 32 you know intros then you have like a 120 bar um midsection and then into a breakdown and it's very structured i know recently especially people are starting to break out of that um but it's hard to kind of break out of that habit as a drum and bass producer, you know, in in terms of your workflow. Um, mm. but. It has got that whole, it has got to this formula now, hasn't it? We all make uh, <laughs> make DJ tunes to be able to mix into other DJ tunes. Yeah, that's it. And that's not a bad thing, like, for sure. Like, mm. um, but yeah, we, with the two flight stuff, it's a lot more free. 
no it was uh it was good definitely anyone definitely definitely go check it out because uh are you get you thinking are you thinking about doing anything again soon or are you just gonna leave that for a bit you because um, you, you said you've been writing a lot of music you have you have written a lot of music uh <laughs> since then really. yeah since then really yeah to be fair like recently i've made so much music man like um I was working like full time throughout like, the whole pandemic. Um, and recently, like literally when everyone got told to go back to work, they, my work put me on furlough. Um, so I've had all this time to kind of just work on music constantly. And I've, I've made so much, Like my releases for the rest of the year are basically finished now. And we're going into like, I'm getting demos ready for, you know, next year. Um, so it's been super, it's been like a really productive time for me, mm. which has been great. Like usually, I, I struggle with like productivity when I'm working full time because, um, y you know, you finish work, you go home, and like, <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm just there, like, ah, oh, like I eat my dinner and I'm like, oh, I have to get this done, and it does kind of take the enjoyment out of it a little bit because you're kind of forcing yourself. But it's, you know, I have my little schedule now where I wake up, I'll do all like you know the networking like admin stuff checking my emails and then like a good seven hours on tunes and i can actually relax in the evenings and rewind um ready for the next day and my productivity has just gone like this it's just flew so yeah it's great that's good i guess uh i guess it's all i guess all of it's helped uh everything opening back up again as well things for you yeah that was a massive massive motivator mate like um like what i said in the previous question like especially with the more club bit like the club influence tunes it really helped um and i'm pretty sure it would be the same for a lot of producers to be fair getting some getting some when stuff, getting some stuff ribby, rib ready <laughs> matt carter asks, when's the release on 985 music coming out prez must be looking at your stuff and thinking that's a bit of us <laughs> um i have spoke to alex like not in a little while um but um, i've sent him some demos and stuff but you know it's we haven't spoken in a little while but i would definitely be up for um <laughs> alex, alex <laughs> but sign some clinical do it <laughs> <laughs> why not why not <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I reckon it could. I reckon it could work. To be fair, a lot of the stuff I've been making he played, recently, he played, like he really, he did hammer uh, around me and framed, like uh, yeah. He's been playing the the. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say it, and he has been playing the remix of around me. Oh by, yeah, you know, by who know who who knows, <laughs> by, by um, workforce the workforce remix. <laughs> You know, oh wait, no, you're not allowed to say. Wait, <laughs> everybody, I don't know. Everybody knows. You said it. Yeah, it's one of those. Isn't it? Everyone. <laughs> but no, Marvelous but we're doing the, we're doing the, we're doing the, we're doing the hype build up for it because no one knows who it is. Yeah. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something I'll definitely be open for, like in the future. I have, a lot of stuff I've been making would suit them, so. I, I, have you got it? Have you got the uh, have you got the vinyl on you? Have you got it? Yes. <laughs> give us a give us a, give us a wave. <laughs> we got uh, we got Marcus and we got Liam Hijack in here as well. Big up! Oh look, here we go. <laughs> look, I can see my, myself <laughs> in it. In it. <laughs> You're stoned ass in the reflection. Look. <laughs> That's not, we, we promise that these vinyls don't come with that on the vinyl. That's, that's not real. That's not, it's not a picture disc. <laughs> great, yeah. great. There we go. There we go. There's the, that is the vinyl. Hold, hold it up. Really hold, nice. it up the, hold it up with the other ankle. That's, too, that's way too many it. feet. There we go. Look at that. There we go. Give, my, give myself out of it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> that, is the, that is the brand new clinical. That's a white label right there. Be at least some coffee. Yes. I would like a coffee actually. That'd be nice. Or frappe. Maybe a nice frappe would be good. Yeah, that's gonna be. Uh, that's gonna be. Uh, what tracks? What tracks are on it? 
We allowed to, you're allowed to uh, say? We're allowed to say? Should we, should we just say? <laughs> um, on one, we'll say one side. So on one side, we have <laughs> around me, back in the goal, featuring Pete on the actual, featuring on Pete. the actual record. So, <laughs> Pete on the, on the record. Yeah. So around me is getting pressed to vinyl. Um, it's been asked about a lot since it got released. <laughs> And we've finally done it. Um, the other side will have the Arami VIP and the Workforce remix of Arami. There. Keep an ear out for that. Yeah, we, that should be out. We're, we're aiming for like August. So yeah. we've got, got, got that it's sounding good. Yeah, it's really good to press. It's really good to do around me. That was a that was a good tune. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> so yeah, be, and be... and Liam. <laughs> Leak it, right? Leak Come it. on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's just put it on. Mark. Let's put it on Soul Seek right now. Let's just yeah, sabotage. We just fucking... sabotage yeah, right? let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I did. I, I actually did leak. I did leak my own release ones. I uh, do you remember the do you remember the Australian connection that, that we did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually uh, I uploaded it on Bandcamp uh, accidentally. Like it was it was a good few weeks before it was supposed to be out, but I didn't yeah. do it as a pre order. I did it as actual just to, for sale. And some like Russian, someone from someone Russia, else done that recently. Someone just downloaded it. I <laughs> I remember in the Discord, in the um, overview Discord, someone said about someone doing that. I can't remember who. It was Flex Out release, I think. I'm not sure. But they done it. They got told quick and took it off. Took the um, buy now off. Um, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's it's easily done if you're not not paying <laughs> not paying enough uh, attention. The amount of times I've uploaded um, uh, like dubs or like whips on soundcloud about forgetting to put it onto private is ridiculous i know um yeah <laughs> ollie Savantics has done it before well a couple of times as well um it happens uh, it happens we all make mistakes ollie ollie I, I remember ollie did it with uh he did it with a remix of i think it was a remix of on site and i think he just he just uploaded it on his phone yeah. to like privately show someone to kind of like oh look what i've got <laughs> And then <laughs> publicly uploaded it, and then proceeded to like not answer his phone or not see it for hours. Yeah. And like, I don't know. Well, no, yeah, as well. So what the fuck? The joys of the digital age. The joys of the digital age. These ha- these haphazards that are there. Yeah. You never know what is a uh, what is around, you the, never around know. the corner. But no, I don't think we're going to leak it. I, I, if 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 that's all right. No, but, we're not leaking. Sorry. We, we, Sorry, do, right. we, we we do we do there was a reason why we were here though we we there is a release that is out tomorrow which yeah. is uh the sinful ep yeah um was there anything you want to say about that or anything you want to tell us about, <laughs> about no, that? Nothing. no nothing it's just nothing. A, it's just the collection of just, tunes. Just, just buy it tomorrow <laughs> just buy it. <laughs> just that's it. That's what you need to do. Buy it or stream yeah. it. Actually, or stream it because we'll stream it. Yeah. If I'm you on can... that Spotify cloud. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, for you, is it? Is it's about Spotify cloud now. That's what we need. Yeah. We need. We need some good Spotify. So if you can go play it on Spotify, play it on repeat. If you actually, if you want to be your best friends tomorrow, just play play the EP on repeat all day. Yeah. Um, and we'll get and buy it as well. And and buy it. At least ten at least four copies. Five ten copies. Ten copies. Okay. Yeah, if you can buy ten copies. Only if you're feeling generous. And then um, and then pa- Dan will send you his PayPal and send him some money on PayPal as well. No, I don't. <laughs> no. I'm gonna put my um, I'm gonna put my PayPal link in there. <laughs> no, <laughs> <don't> <laughs> Give us please. We're looking like bags right now. Um Yeah, let's say he'll play. No, the um Playlist. I'll bet Yella, Yella, please playlist it. If any, if anyone, I tell you what, that's another thing. If you can put it in your playlist, if you if you have Spotify, and you, uh, this is this is this will help us. Uh, put it in your playlist. Cherish it forever. Literally, these these tracks are worth cherishing. 
<laughs> Shall I talk about the EP now? I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, you don't have to. I mean, enough said, really. We, I mean, we, you, know, you know, that summarizes it. Um, Dom says, "Give me your number." He wants naked pics, apparently. Um, give me your number. Your number. Um, I'm sure he has. I'm sure you have his number. I don't actually have Dom's number. Don't your number, number, though. Come on, Dom. Are we gonna see Dom? We're gonna see we're gonna see Dom on Saturday actually. Dom's gonna be yeah. there. Yeah. He is. I haven't seen him in a long time, man. Yeah, I haven't, really I haven't uh actually I haven't yeah, I haven't seen Dom. I was supposed to see Dom when he when he did his live stream and I didn't manage to make it to that. Actually actually no, I saw Dom Dom actually no saying that, sorry. Dom we, yeah, Dom was in Brighton a few weeks ago. Uh we had we had What the Pitter. Have you had have you had What the Pitter in Brighton yet? No. I'll tell you what. No. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll take some people to What the Pitter, because What the Pitter is banging. If you've never had What the Pitter, okay. it's, it's, it's vegan vegan pitter, like pitter bread, like gyros sort of thing. It's going to be sick. Right, shall, I talk, shall I talk about the EP? <laughs> <laughs> we're, just, well, look, we're just vibing. We're just, you know, we're just seeing where this, we're just seeing where it's going. You can talk, you can talk about what you want, Dan. This is, this is the thing. Like, this is, this is why you give the platform, you know, we just talk about, yeah, overview oh. gang, What the Pitter. I'm up for that. Sponsored. Sponsored. Hashtag yeah. ad. Hashtag, hashtag ad in the title. Hashtag ad. Send me what the pit is. Uh, but yeah, we're looking forward to Saturday. Saturday's going to be good. Uh, I've got a, a number of people down there. So if you if you can, get along to the vaults. If anyone's, if anyone's up for it. Um, Jake, uh, Jake Whittam, big up. He says EP is so sexy. He says it's very Thank sexy. You, How are you uh how are you feeling about the EP? Um <laughs> <laughs> in, um, in general. Yeah, really, in general. Um I'm really happy with it, mate. Um it's a nice mixture of like vibes um and sounds. Um it's sick. Like I was really it, it all came together really quickly as well. Apart from Sinful, that was the actual track Sinful. That was a ball ache. But um you know, it it wrote itself and they're my favourite tunes really. So it was sick. Um My number was ridiculously fun to make. Like it was just that went through quite a few versions as well, to be fair, but it was just it was just a great experience. Like a lot of that a lot of the songwriting in that tune was like like we talked about earlier kind of stems with what I almost learned um, when I'd done the Two Flights mixtape. Mm. Um, you will probably hear like a mixture of elements from both when you listen to it. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with it. Um, I don't think anyone's actually guessed the sample that I used in my number yet. I did, I did put it on Facebook, but no one did. No one did guess. Is it uh is it a splice sample? No. <laughs> no. No. An actual actual sample. Um I do uh, I, I do really like that tune. I didn't know I don't know what the are we, are we allowed to are we allowed to say what the sample is? Is that is that alright? <laughs> I mean I'm sure I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure her let their label is, it <laughs> is not going to come out. No. Oh, no. that's a shame. No. I can definitely, I can definitely hear uh, the two flights influence on, um, on the, on the, on the, on it because it was, it was only supposed to be a, a single, right? Originally, because I was swear you, you were talking to Ollie, you know, like, oh, yes. I'm going to do a single, I'm going to do a two track single. What was, what was the original two tracks going to be? Or what were you um, thinking originally? The original um it was gonna be um my number which was it was called symphony at the time but it's changed um it was gonna be my number at, or slash symphony and um sinful i think i think right. i'm not sure but I was, I was, during this time i was writing so much music i was I, you know i just said to ollie let's just make it an ep um 
You just went for it. Well, it was a different experience working with Ollie, to be honest. Like, um, usually with every release we've done in the past, it's been I've worked with you. Um, mm. But Ollie's a credit man to the label. Like, he's so so transparent, and you know he's not saying I'm <laughs> nothing uncomplimentary. <laughs> I'm not saying that you're not, but like. You know he he's on it, man. Like he knows what works and what doesn't, and um, he's really really easy to work with. So big up Polly. Yeah, big up Polly. We need to get I need to get we need to get him on for for one of these. Yeah, <laughs> we should we should just, we should just shout Ollie. We'll be like Ollie, where are you? Come on, come on, come on, come on the call. <laughs> or, or or just anyone anyone else wants to join, just join in on the call. <laughs> Much not coming up on the phone. You are sorry. The chat's not coming up on my phone. Oh no. We got uh Yeah, that was the that was the most <laughs> least sympathetic I oh, know I've heard. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yeah, what I think it, it was uh it was a good a good release and you know, you and Ollie got it uh got it done and it's all it's all worked pretty smoothly, I think. Like it's nice when that kind of happens, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it did go real smooth. To be fair, um, no masters had to be sent back or anything. Like big up Hayden. Um, oh, yeah, shout out to Hayden. Master in it, Mister Hyde. Mr. Hyde. <laughs> yeah, go yeah, he killed on. it. It's rare, like I get masters back, and like, I'm really happy with them. And um. He killed it, like he kept like all the dynamics, got it nice, you know, nice and loud and kept it cohesive. So that was really good. Um, yeah, usually every time I get sent masters, I don't, I don't like it. Usually I master my own stuff, but um, this release was particularly um, tricky um, with the deadline that we had and stuff. You know, I didn't really want to put that amount of pressure on myself, so we gave it to Hayden, and like he lived up to it one hundred percent. Yeah, I think I think it was the first release we done that you didn't master. You didn't master it yourself. Yeah, harsh cold. I didn't master. Actually, um, yeah, that's true. That is true. Lockjaw mastered that. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I think I mastered everything else. The Violet EP I done by myself. Um, but I had a lot more time with that, so. Mm. Yeah, no, Hayden's been doing a really good job and uh, smashing it. Is he, is he doing all the overview releases now, then? Uh, pretty much, to be honest. We have been using uh, Hayden a bit. I mean, some, some producers uh, may have, like, certain people that they prefer to work with. Like, uh, you know, um, we do, yeah, some people have their own sort of guys they work with, for example, that, kind of know their music a bit more um but yeah uh, or obviously self-master <laughs> um but yeah yeah a mixture and it, what the artist wants it, it is a mixture but hayden's been doing a, hayden's been doing a, a lot of it recently to be honest um i had him <laughs> i had him down at the weekend it was uh he was playing in brighton again <laughs> passing through so James Perez sample is Dan from Rate My Takeaway pitched up. <laughs> Winner. Big ups, Rate My Takeaway. We got, we got, we got a producer question here that uh, you may be, be able to answer. Is uh, any tips or pointers for approaching mastering your own tunes? Um, it's a weird one. Like when I say like a self master like i mastered it myself is almost i've got the mix as clean as possible um i use logic and logic has a lot a lot of headroom with how much you could push it on the master so you know i might use some light limiting and some like really light multi-band compression but that's really it i just kind of let it breathe um you know i i don't have like all the these like outboard compressors and stuff like this, um, it, it, it's ju it's just getting the mix as clean as possible and pushing it as hard as you can really without squashing the dynamics. That's all it is to it. It's not 
when you is is a lot of you'll speak to a lot of producers now and they don't actually get their tunes mastered you know or even even if you can call it self mastering it's just getting your mix clean while pushing it you know to the absolute threshold it can before you know crushing the dynamics or or distorting it so i guess the the best approach would be to get your mixes as clean as possible and you know just don't be afraid of pushing it a bit so if it sounds good take. it sounds good i'm gonna get a producer in the comments like in a minute like that's wrong you need to run it through some five thousand pound outboard compression and through some fucking analog eq and through a preamp and all this but it depends it depends what you're going for man yeah he says that's what i've been doing to be fair so that's good to hear yeah I think there are some there are some people I've met that have been like no just get them to produce you know they that you want you can get it to sound how you want it to sound if you know what I mean like <laughs> yeah um, that's that's kind of my view like if you you spend hours and hours and hours making a tune and getting it how you want it and mixing it to the point that you want it I me as a producer would much rather keep it as organic to a, how i had it you know when it was really kind of getting me going creatively because as soon as you know you get into the into the depths of like mixing and the engineering of it, it you can lose track of where you know that initial spark that you had with the track and i think if you kind of keep that spark going all the way and then you do it then you send it to a master and engineer and they just do everything you didn't want to do during engineer like during the mix down and stuff you know it's just is is you're going to be disappointed and that, i think that's my that was my issue but hayden kept it you know he he kept it cohesive to the version you know the original versions that i had so i can be happy with them mm. Yeah, maybe he like really heard what you did on the original sort of track and <laughs> just tried yeah. to emulate it. But I think he's the thing with Hayden. He's not flexing like a lot of master and engineers do. You know, they. they I guarantee a lot of. I'm not cussing anyone or calling <laughs> anyone out, but I guarantee a lot of um, master and engineers. You know, they'll run all of it through all that outboard gear and f you know through these crazy chains of external analog gear just because they have it you know what i mean instead of actually using what is needed for that specific track um and when that happens you are kind of crushing any kind of you know because mixed downs aren't only technical they are quite creative as well and although they might not be perfect as soon as you start you know put you know putting everything through the same chain to get it to this perfection, you're going to kind of suck the soul that the producer put in there, really. I think. Does that make sense? I don't know. But that's my perspective on it. Um, James, mastering engineers are outdated. That sounds like a very Yano uh, answer. I think my stream might be... Uh, my stream might be on hold at the moment. Yeah. I, would say. I, don't know. I don't know. It's a weird one. I know what he means, but um, I, I don't agree completely. No, I know. Like um, you said, like you know, for your for the example here, like for what you wanted to do, you know, a mastering engineer <laughs> came along and really helped helped you. Yeah, get it. It, it, it depends on, on the producer. It depends on the producer. They're not for everyone, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, yeah, it's definitely going to be a trend, really trend of trend of people doing it themselves. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they always have. I don't know. Well, some people do some people do some people don't some people prefer to have their music mastered i don't know some people do prefer that because you, once you've heard something so many times or i don't know could, yeah I, could put I think in the, on it you know to get it really really loud really really good i don't know there are masters yeah of, masters of sound you know what i mean but can, that, yeah it can be, a, it can be it's opinion like, on it yeah, for sure. It, everything's so accessible now, like, especially, like, the DAWs, like, nowadays, they have so much headroom for you to push. If you're going for loudness, it's so easy to achieve without a mastering engineer. 
Um, mm. I would say that the main benefits of like a master and engineer nowadays would be for playing club, uh, playing clubs and tunes, <laughs> playing tunes in clubs, and kind of keeping everything safe and keeping everything, you know, for you know, re ready for every platform that people are going to consume the music on. You know, like your own master might be a bit too harsh on the highs without you kind of noticing. And, you know, it can, when you play at a club or something, it could be a bit harsh on people's ears and stuff like that. Mm. That's just like a basic example. But, um, yeah, it, it completely depends. Ollie says clinical masters in garage band. <laughs> <laughs> no, logic is basically garage band. Nowadays. Logic is basically just garage band. Mate, I can't believe people it's don't all use his animations and audacity. <laughs> He's, I remember beats on Photoshop, mate. I wonder if anyone, I wonder if anyone has actually Photoshopped a beat. I wonder, it must be possible somehow. No, I don't know. Photoshop a beat? No, that's not possible, bro. That's not. <laughs> you can tell you're high as fuck, mate. Has <laughs> anyone made someone a tune somewhere? In you, someone, someone, somewhere has done that. I swear. Uh, Jacob, Jacob here has said, uh, yeah, definitely man for me. The master yeah. is more a process of the production itself. I bounce back and forth between the master and the mix down process. I like to keep the final result true to the mix down. I find myself in the same camp, had some bad experiences with mastering engineers, just slamming it through all his, all this gear and it loses its original touch. Yeah. So people out there are having similar, yeah. similar experiences. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I agree completely with that. You should you should master some you should master some people's tunes. You could do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I, 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 a little no. bit. And a little bit on the side. I master tunes. I master tunes now. Master tunes. <laughs> Have you seen that meme where it's like, it's like a, you know that kid that kid with the spiky hair on his computer with his like thumb up like this yeah yeah yeah. it's crazy spiky hair <laughs> seen it as like buys laptop produces on logic for one month master and engineer 15 pound a track <laughs> it's true yeah yeah wait well, you don't you don't need you don't need mastering really some people do oh I guess. yeah but if you if you need mastering like i don't it's it's one of the it's not needed but it's, it's, um, what's the word? It, it's, I want to say important, but that, that is co completely contradictory. <laughs> it's, um, Everything I've just said. Yeah, it's good. It, it, it's good if, if you need it, but like, it's not going to pull it. It's not going to finish. It's not going to make your track sound good if you've got shit mixed up. You know? mm. So just make sure your mix downs are good, kids. Any tips that you give people to uh, to to mixing down their tunes? Mixing down their tunes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or are we not allowed? Is that too? Is that secret information? Don't compress everything so much. That's what I would say. That's your. That's a. That's a big. Um, that's a big tip. Well, that's what everyone. That's what a lot of people do. Like they will compress the fuck up everything. Um. It's just not for me. Like it's more of a like creative choice, really. Um, I think people overthink it a lot as well when it comes to the mix down. Um, but it, it's, it's, this is just this is a question that everyone gets asked so much, but it's so hard to answer, man, because it's it's dependent on so many things, so so many things. And the only thing I could say would be to kind of find your methods see what works and just keep doing it like um my mixes aren't the best in the world like it's not something i care about that much i i will get it clean but i'm not gonna fucking start wanking over the amount of compression i've used on my bass or how tight i've got my snare compared you know how I, how well it fits in the mix that's not me like i don't really i don't really um it doesn't interest me that much to be honest but as long as you get the basics down you you kind of you you teach yourself really and you find your own techniques that's what i found um don't take everything 
people say in production forums literally because there's some groups on facebook and stuff and people are like asking questions and some of the replies i'm just like what the fuck like what the fuck like that's I, is either completely wrong so specific that it just makes no sense because they don't know you know what they're referring to like the, the person that asked the question i mean um it is yeah just don't take everything so literally basically don't do that i mean that made a lot of sense to your <laughs> stoned ass <laughs> yeah it does it does i can i do i do i do know i do know i do know about production i'm not completely i'm not completely naive but that's gonna that's gonna help someone else more than it's gonna help me maybe you should make some t-shirts don't compress don't compress t-shirts <laughs> <laughs> sorry, oh, sorry. Completely against compression. No. Don't compress as much. Is there any is there any other tips that you give to people for actually like songwriting? Or I don't know, what do you what do you prefer? What's your favorite part of songwriting? Like if you were to sit down, where do you tend to start or does it change depending on what you how you're feeling, what you're doing? I don't know. Run me through, run me start through. With really. <laughs> start with the drums. Or always start with like a eight bar drum loop. Um I know even like uh, I'll do the drum loop, I won't really mix it or kind of push for any kind of I don't know, like brightness or reverb or anything like that until I've got more of the track built so I know what works with the vibe of go after if you know what i mean but I, I always start with the drums then i usually go with um the synths like the either like the melody if it's or the or the main hook if it's a liquid tune or um if it's more like a minimal tune i'll go for the bass line and the synths and then i build a thing I, I work weird man i like bounce between everything and you know i'll get the um the bass line done or whatever, then I'll go back to the drums to fit that around the bass line. Then I'll, I'll listen to it about 20 times and try work out what needs add in, in terms of either a vocal or, um, pads or, you know, synths, whatever. It's, it's a weird work. It's different every time, man. Like my, um, I don't know. It's, it's hard. It's hard to explain because when I, do work on music it's um i don't really remember what i've done like the process of it at all it's is weird like, i'm proper like zone in and i'm i'm just clicking buttons basically and then i, I just sit back like this and i listen it's like oh that's actually quite good then i'll listen to it and listen to it and listen to it till i hate it Luckily, yeah. <laughs> and that's my daily process and that's how you produce it <laughs> yeah yeah. Do you find yourself picky like that? Because you did, you did change uh, Simful a few times. I swear, there was a couple of versions Sorry? of that. Simful, you did change a bit, or, what, or a bit. Simple, or... yeah. I, I, I changed Simple loads, man. Loads. You couldn't couldn't get loads, it right, loads. or you just I don't know. It just. I had a full track like the first version. I finished and I loved it, um, and it was very very. It wasn't like super different to the version now, but it was very different. Um, and I kind of slept on it and listened back a couple more times, sent it about, and um, slowly I was, I, I don't know, it just didn't really suit my sound, I don't think. And it was, I kind of went off of it quite a bit. Um, but I, so I wanted to make it. Basically, I went, I revised it, but I loved the vocal and the drums and the main kind of structure. But I just needed to kind of get the um, bass line and the character, like, cohesive with my sound, if you know what I mean. Um, so I went back and done that. And I'm happy with how it turned out, to be fair. So. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have that, that struggle almost, or like you're saying, like, to get it 100% right or... I suppose you can't ever get it 100% right. Are you still, are you still 100% happy or would you still be like, 
actually, there's still a bit that I would change. <laughs> I think I'll ever be 100% happy if I lose it, ever. Yeah. I'm sure every producer thinks the same. And if you do say you feel this, if you if you feel you're 100 percent happy with your music, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to yourself. <laughs> we would all change, you know. No matter when you dedicate so much time and effort into something, you always, you know, you want it to be better no matter what. Um, I guarantee, even like noisier, look back on some of the tunes like, oh, we change that. No, I think that's just natural. I think it's how like. It's, it's healthy as well to be able to criticize yourself in that way draw the positives from your own music and draw the negatives and use both to kind of keep progressing um mm. whether that be with your mix downs or creatively or you know if you if you if you can be humble enough to take the negatives away from it and you know you use that to spare you forward like it's a it's a winning winning recipe because and if you if you constantly keep to that kind of formula the more you do it um you know you're, you're gonna just keep getting better and better and, you know the sky's the limit so mm. if that makes sense no it does it does it's that uh that battle with creativity and creating and sure like you're saying being being totally happy or <laughs> being yeah how, how how happy you do feel about it like you're saying, being able to actually criticise yourself and see your mistakes yeah. and, and then yeah. know where to improve, try and get, keep on getting better. Because I'm sure like some people will probably feel like, I don't, I don't know, obviously you, you saying that, like people be like, oh, you know, I don't know, you must love what you do all the time or again, or people might compare themselves to you, for example. Um, that's, that's, that's incredibly... Um um common as well we will always like i always find myself comparing um my music to other people's like when it comes to um mix downs and stuff but that's extremely healthy as well like everyone learns from you know the more music you listen to the more you're going to take away from it and draw inspiration from so i mean that's super healthy as well to kind of compare yourself to other artists not in like a you know in a spiteful way where it's like oh my drums are better i mean like compare it and take away like what you love you know what you love that they do which you can impl implement into your own stuff like that's all how we start you know and you should keep that going i think through it even before you even after you're a beginner like i still draw inspiration from and I'm not just talking like a lot of a lot of producers would be like, oh, I only I take inspiration from like jazz and soul and you know <laughs> it, it, it's I mean let's be honest you're making fucking foghorns like well, what are you drawing from jazz, bro? Like don't be scared to admit you're taking inspiration from other drum and bass producers. You know what I mean? Like we all do it. Like. <laughs> But you can't admit it. You can't admit it. You can't admit that that's what you do. You can't admit it. No, no you, you know, no. you got to, you got to be like, no, this came from, this idea came within from deep of my soul. <laughs> you know, it's a hundred percent unique. Nothing has ever sounded like it. But I suppose, yeah. but I suppose it's that it's that it's that thing they say. You know, obviously trying to take inspiration from different people, different things. You can combine ideas to do something fresher that maybe someone hasn't done. Like there is a de there there is a definite clinical sound. Like I think you you have yeah, like out of a lot of things you have managed to kind of do that with yourself. Like there isn't anyone else that sounds. I've like I've heard people it. tell me that, but I really can't. People have told me that before, but I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything sounds very different to me. Um, you can't hear. I it. don't know. It's probably it's probably. I'd, I'd probably get why like my mix downs always are consistent like in the way i mix stuff but i don't know i it, obviously i have kind of a lot of um signature signature <laughs> sounds <laughs> that i've made I've kind of you know further like resampled and used again with like further processing and stuff so i get that but not everything's like that like 
the Violet EP I felt was um very very different to anything I've released before but people were saying to me like oh you can still tell it's you and I'm just like how because I don't know but I think that's just because I listen to it so much it is a bit harder for me to kind of tell the difference That's really interesting, actually, because you wouldn't necessarily think that. But any, I, I guarantee anyone, anyone, you know, there is, there is definitely something there. I and mean, if you were to actually try and sort of like list it out, sort of what it, what it was. Maybe I'll notice it one day, but in the future, I was going to say, just, just maybe listen to I your music, won't. just listen to your music more. <laughs> Probably make it harder. <laughs> Hey, so, uh, Tristan, Tristan even said, yeah, referencing tunes is good and allows you to be honest with yourself and ask yourself, would this tune keep up in a mix? You know? Yeah, referencing. When I was talking about comparing to other tunes, I didn't, I didn't necessarily mean referencing. <laughs> Actually comparing that was more, it. it wasn't more referencing. It was more, it was more kind of, you know, taking inspiration from other drama based tunes. But referencing is important, especially in the last... stages um for sure Do you, do you reference but your it's tunes not essential still? like I, sorry Do you reference your tunes still? You must, I guess you said i've playing only them just out. Or... i've only recently started doing it mate Really? <laughs> Right, but really. like, yeah literally very recently i started doing it um And what, literally what made, everything what, what did you feel about that from starting to reference it? um it's because i was really what sorry what'd you say How did you feel about that? Like, or how did that make you feel like referencing it for the first time? without ever doing it before was it just like you do you feel like oh i should have been doing this already or did it make you think differently or was it just a, no I think well the reason I've done it is because I had this tune and I wanted to make drums like the drums in another tune so I made I made some drums made a drum loop and was like okay I think this is on the right tracks I was like I'm not I'm not too sure like, I didn't want to copy the drums but there was a certain kind of warmth to the drums which I wanted to emulate so I dragged the track in And you know, aid a beat them together, and it was super helpful to be fair. Um, so I just started doing it, not not during like the um creative process necessarily, just right at the end when it comes to uh the mix down and stuff. Who's And who's it has track? helped. Who's tracks were you right being? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, not yeah, are you not? Ah. You know, some jazz singer from the Just some jazz forties. band. I was Yeah, doing from some the nineties. Duke, some Duke Ellington from the nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> Not revealing all these secrets. Now that that's in, that's interesting, though. I suppose it's like you're saying, like you sort of thought, oh, maybe did you think, oh, I, I hadn't done that before, and maybe I'll just sort of see, because sometimes I didn't you really do. know the thing. But I didn't know the thing. <laughs> John says, John says, probably mine. <laughs> You're probably doing it with some MV tune. <laughs> wow. 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 Come This on. guy. Oh, Jean Jean over here. Jean. Probably Jean. not. <laughs> Apparently, To be fair, I, to be fair, to be fair. I haven't re I haven't referenced one of your tunes, but I would. They would be Reference the kind of tunes it. I would reference. Yeah. To be fair, Reference it with the new, with he the new told you what you, Sean. You wanted me to big you up, but you got it. So. <laughs> Big up, big up, Jean. big up the envy. Uh, we, we'll hopefully be in Brist Bristol soon. If he's still there, hopefully it's not. We need to, we need to go to Vienna as well. That's what we do. I, w I do want to do as well. I'd like to, I'd like to make it to Vienna one day After again, last time, or, or or just Austria in general. I mean, you've been, to, you've been to Austria a couple of times, or no, just the ones. I've been to Vienna once. Um, it was my first gig abroad. It was like three years ago, I think. Um, and I spent the weekend with um, Jean, 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 um, <laughs> Jean, and <laughs> Jean, Mike. Tony, a guy called Tony. Okay. And another guy, I can't remember his name there. He had a really Austrian name, I think. Um, Klaus. but it was so sick. Like the weather was beautiful in Vienna. I love the city. Um, I spent the whole weekend there and we went to this 
like day festival along the river. It it was just a massive vibe. Like it was so fun. Like it was a beautiful. Uh, like it's one of my favorite cities. Like was it? In Europe, uh, was sure. it? Did you go to? Did you go to Flux Club? Was it? It wasn't Flux, was it? Does that ring a bell? You said uh, yeah. a day party on the river. <laughs> no, that wasn't where I played. Sorry, that was the day like the day after I played. Right. Okay. We played uh, Grel Pharrell, I think. Grele Pharrell. Grele Pharrell. Is it Grel? Pharrell. Is it Grel Pharrell? Or is it Grel Pharrell? <laughs> how do we pronounce it? Jean, how do we pronounce it? Is it Gully Ferelli or Gully Gully Ferel? That's where we were supposed, yeah, we were supposed to be. We, well, we're, ho we're hopefully going to. We're supposed to be going to Germany, I think. That is still going to happen. I think when, when we're when we're like green on the green list and we're allowed to like travel to other other countries, we are going to be in Germany, I believe. At uh. <laughs> Gene just Gene just wrote this. Gene just wrote it. It's Gurley Ferrell. Ferrelli Ferrelli. 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 We're also we're we're also hope, hopefully going to be in uh, not <laughs> in New Zealand as well. Hopefully, we, we're going to like hopefully go wreck, tear some shit up in New Zealand. If you if you're up for that, <laughs> do you want to go? Do you want to go to New Zealand, mate? <laughs> Does anyone want to go to New Zealand? You're too funny. Sorry, mate. Um, I said I was in a bit of a funny mood tonight, and uh, just <laughs> just vibing. We got a bit. We got a big weekend. We got a big weekend uh, ahead of us as well. With uh, yeah, overview Brighton at the Volks. What's the lineup? Over the lineup. Uh, the lineup is clinical, resort and operate. Gyrofield, the world, the world debut, <laughs> the world debut, first ever set of Gyrofield. Uh, we've also got T ninety five is there as well. Sub antics. Uh, we've got Yano. Yano is his uh, his UK debut as well. He's from he's from Jersey. He's from Jersey, but he's never actually played in the in the UK because Jersey isn't actually part of the United Kingdom. There's an interesting geog geography fact for you right there. So this is in fact his UK debut. We'll do some foghorns, but yeah, it should be a big weekend. And uh, I think we're, we're we're supposed to be doing like a radio thing as well at uh, at Trickstar, which should be we should be we should be fun. What a lineup! <laughs> what a lineup! Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. I I'm I'm playing as well. I'm playing. I'm actually I'm actually uh we got uh you know the do you know the singer Sam, Sammy Hall? Yeah, she yeah. did the she did the two tracks with Wings with Marcus and uh I'm 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 actually gonna be DJing a live PA for her. So she's gonna be playing a selection of well I'm gonna be DJing a selection of her tunes and she's gonna be singing. Oh, nice. That's, I think that's actually the first time I, I've actually properly, I think, done a PA for a, for a vocalist before. So <laughs> it should be, it should be, it should be fun. Um. <laughs> so get down if you if you can get down five uh, five o'clock. It actually starts at five o'clock, and then we we are actually going to be on Trickstar as well. I haven't like you asked that already. <laughs> you did say that. You did say that. You yeah, did you say said that. that. I did say. It. I was going to say. Well, I haven't. I haven't said much about it as well. That's that's the only. That's the only problem. I need to. I need to lead back to it because I haven't given it a good enough plug. Because I haven't. I, I, I. To be honest, I haven't even like put anything online or anything like. But we're 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 also we're also in Trickstar Radio doing a radio show at the same time as the gig that's happening in the Volks. At the same time. Pretty much. So the the Trickstar Radio thing's on at eight. The gig starts at five, and there'll be like people ferrying between the radio station and uh, and the and the gig to 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 play on there. And yeah, we've got uh, yeah, we've got a few people, a few people playing down there, including obviously uh, Dan here. We'll be doing like a like a back to back thing after after the show so it's gonna be a bit of a later one i think we're we're doing that eight till 
eight till two a.m. I'm pretty sure we're we're actually going to be doing like a six hour takeover. Wait. I should probably uh, <laughs> I should probably do some like promoting or do, or put that online or so, or do something. We're just kind of just kind of winging it, really. Winging it. Just winging it. Yeah, we, I mean, just I mean that's pretty much just what I do like the whole sort of time. Really, it's just wing, wing everything. Do you are you the same? Are you the same? Do you wing things? Or yeah. Are you, more, are you more of a planner? Mixture. Well, yeah. I'm definitely not a planner. We learned that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and now, and now you're now you're sat here doing this. So this is if it wasn't compounding your misery enough, you know, like oh god, he's made me do one of these again. <laughs> <laughs> do one in the one of the stoned as fuck as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm also a little bit. I'm also. A little bit high, so you know, even even better quality, Absolutely. quality Absolutely. professional content on on it's quality with with overview. No, at but you're not absolutely smashed. Yeah, I'll at least I'm not smashed this time. At least I'm not smashed this time. I I actually did have the idea about doing a podcast with like trying different drugs on the podcast, so you would like, yeah, I don't know, like almost almost like documenting. Um, Almost like documenting yourself, like the pretty sure my mum's watching. So, mum, don't worry, I'm not going to be involved in this podcast. <laughs> oh no, is he really? My, maybe my mum's watching. I don't know. She was I'm, earlier. I'm so, I'm sorry, mum. I'm sorry she, that you. Were... She actually texted me um, during it, said saying liven up a little bit. I was like, thanks, mum. <laughs> Cheers. Really, <laughs> really. Guy, so miserable. Yeah. <laughs> but that can, but, no, that's what, that's what you know. You got to play the part. You know what I mean? Like you know, you're an edgy, sad boy, D and B producer for a reason. You know, you got to you know. Yeah, exactly. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. But big up, big up, uh, big up, Mama Clinical. Maybe she she will. Uh, she can do the door for what the. If, she can she can um, she can do the door for the milkshare. Wi-Fi is froze, I think. I oh, know, really. I think it I, it. I think it's dropped in and out a couple of times. I think it is maybe like doing something. I was going to say your 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 mum could work the door for over overview uh, milkshake. Again, sorry. I said your 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 mum could uh, do the door for overview milkshake. <laughs> if if yeah. if if, uh, if you're probably good to be fair. Uh, I think it. I think it is. I think it is. I think we're back. I don't know. It's, it is. It is lagging a little you bit. Back? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, maybe maybe I won't try that podcast idea. I don't know. We'll save that. No, for another, we'll yeah. save that for another podcast. That sounds like a terrible idea. I cannot hide. Good yeah. from a consumer perspective, but good from a perspective. consumer perspective. Depends on how professional you want it to be. Depends on how professional you want it to be taken, I guess. Really, which at the moment I'm not. I'm not setting. I'm not setting the best bar. I'm not setting the best bar at the moment. <laughs> Bro. Oh dear. Yeah, I know. I know. It's gonna be a long weekend. It's gonna be a long weekend. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, when, when, when you arrive, you're not arriving. You're not arriving tomorrow. No. Why not? Um, because I'm not. Come on, just come, just come, just come tomorrow. Have a. I do. Okay, Pete. Pe what? Jean has said this is the best overview so far. I mean, uh, I mean, I, that's something. I I have I have reason to believe him right now. I think this is uh, this is uh, this has proved to be a bit more. I don't know. You don't know quite where this conversation is going to go, really, do you? I think that's 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 the that's the beautiful thing. It has. We've 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 really kind of like 
had a proper had a proper chat. It's like you know, it's, we're just having a chat. We're just live on the internet. Therapy session. This is this is like the overview overview therapy session. You can you can pick our brains. You can pick clinicals brain. You know, I, this is what, this is why I did it. You know, because people think like you have your interview for your uh, in a magazine or whatever. Like, but instead we can just sit down here. <laughs> <laughs> we can sit down here and chat for 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 you know this long about pretty much nothing but just have a chat and like have some fun and like just get to know you know people get to know you get to know me it's it's a really great medium and i'm also i've also yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I, uh, <laughs> that's how it goes that's how it goes sometimes <laughs> oh, <bro. sighs> yeah uh, right. Dean says he's listening to the last time you can call it a wrap well, I, tell, I tell you what look look we're, we're approaching we're approaching 30 so I reckon we'll, we'll go for we'll go for one minute we'll go for one minute one hour and 30 okay we'll do it we'll count, we'll count it down just cause like We'll give it. We'll give it. We'll give it three more minutes. Okay. Does that sound good? Is uh is there any is there anything that you would like to close on or anything you would like to say? Anybody you'd like to thank? Anything you'd like to say um, at all? Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no. Um, I don't want to thank anyone. Guess main person to thank would well, the main people to thank would be um Oli, Dumas, um working on me with the C P which comes out tomorrow by the way, if we haven't plugged it enough. Um <laughs> it's been he's been um super easy to work with and super sick. Uh thank you to you. you Sorry? I'm just saying I love I love Oli. Just saying I love you Oli. We all love Oli. We yeah. all love Oli. How can you not love it? Um, thanks to you. Um, nah, fuck me, I'm an idiot. Don't worry about. For it. Don't worry about me. Interviewing me, what you're stoned as fuck. It's been extremely entertaining. I've enjoyed every second. Big ups to yourself, honestly. Um, big ups to you and uh, Division for the artwork. Um, and thank you everyone who supported the EP so far as well. Yeah, that was up. probably the most. They were probably the most sensible sentences said the whole during the whole. <laughs> <laughs> right at, the end. Well, at least we have. We this is it. We've had some sensible. We've had uh, some not so sensible. But I think that's yeah. good. I, uh, big big up to division actually on the artwork. I will say that as well because that has come out looking sick. Yeah, and um, yeah, and obviously Ollie smashed Ollie smashed that animation as well. So, yeah, Oli killed it with the videos. Yeah, he did, he did. So yeah, if you can, tomorrow, or actually at midnight. I mean, what's the time now? Oh no, it's not. It's uh, two hours. It's, two it's hours. actually it's actually out in two hours. I mean, we got this is how you got to, you got to see it. Sometimes New Zealand now. It's out in I'm New sure Zealand right now. You know. If you're in New Zealand right now, you can buy it. You it's can listen to it. Bad if you're in New Zealand, but you could you could reroute your your. What's your your VPN to New VPN, Zealand? VPN. You can reroute your VPN to New Zealand. You could actually go and listen to Clinical's EP right now. The whole thing. You could buy it. Or you could wait two hours, GMT, and you can stream. <laughs> you can stream. <laughs> That'd probably be a lot easier. What we, this, next, next, time, next time we do this, we should do a live stream, a live stream event where we'll live stream it going live. We'll actually do like a countdown. We'll stay up. We'll watch some like, some like, some wrestling or something, and then like, and then we'll <laughs> we'll count down. Marcus said that would be on Beatport 4 p.m. No, do you know what? Beatport have actually got better. Beatport have actually got better with it recently. They have actually been putting it online yeah, like a lot it's earlier. Not Beatport exclusive tomorrow, is it? It's it is Beatport exclusive for buying. It's not people. It's on Spotify. As well, it's sorry. on Spotify. You can listen to it on SoundCloud and you can YouTube it. 
you could YouTube to MP3 rip it as well. Like obviously that is that is a possibility, but we'd rather you didn't. If you could if you could help it, that would at least give us a play on Spotify. That would that's the you know, that's the bare minimum at least. <laughs> um and I think that's I think do you I mean do you want to keep on talking or, or should we should we call it? <laughs> we should call it. Just hit an hour and a half. It is just hit yeah. an hour and a half. 4 p.m. in the morning. Um yeah. Uh I don't know what more else I can I can plug. I think we I think we pretty much plugged it all. Uh Yeah. Yeah. Thank you Dan. Thank you as always for for coming on Thank and you. doing this with me. We should do another one soon. Maybe I'll turn up not not as turn up more high. I turn up more Tell high. What, actually drink a shitload as a shitload as well. Well, we'll, we'll do it. maybe 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 for the next one we'll we'll make actually ugh, actually do you know what actually i do have a i do have a drink for you uh i got i got um one of the violet uh you know the violet i did i made the violet ep cocktail yeah yeah yeah. i actually have bought some more of the same uh stuff uh we could actually make it we could actually we could actually make some violet ep cocktails <laughs> Saturday, we'll do it. Do it. We'll do it Saturday. Yeah, we'll make some. We'll make some. I know it's not, but you've never had a Violet EP cocktail, so no, I, I've, I have got the. What's it? Oh, I forgot what the, I forgot what the uh, the flavor is called. Liqueur. It tastes like uh, Palma Violets. That's kind of what it's. it's violet liqueur, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Violet. It's tasty. It's tasty. Stay hydrated. Yeah. We'll anyway. Do <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, go check out the EP. Go give Clinical a follow. What's what's your handle? What's your handle? Where can we find you? Clinical. Um, oh, you put me on the spot now. Clinical DMB Instagram, on Instagram. Instagram Dan Clinical. Dan C- Clinical. SoundCloud is Clinical DMB. Then Twitter, Facebook, etc. Is Dan Clinical. Dan Clinical. Go follow him. Go give him a like. Thank you so much, Dan. Uh, I Thank will, you. I will. I will, will, will catch up very soon. I'll see you. Yeah. I'll see you in a couple of days. In fact. I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow tomorrow and we'll celebrate yeah. we'll give the we'll give the release another push and yeah there you go all right thank you so much everyone for watching sorry that has been what it what it has been but that's that's just it it's just we're, we're just having a bit of fun <laughs> <laughs> i'll be back again next time we'll see when that happens big up yeah bye <laughs>